Zelda, Zelda, Paper Mario, another Zelda. So I was on Facebook Marketplace and I found this listing that said free stuff. And I decided to message it anyway. And I asked, hey, do you have any old video games? Nintendo, Super Nintendo, 64, PlayStation, Sega. And she does. She actually has a box with uh, GameCube and 64 stuff. So I asked her how much for all of it. She said 75 bucks. And we're gonna go pick this stuff up. Hello. Hi, I'm here to buy the video games. I figured it couldn't be, you couldn't be too far. I kept it in the car. Okay, perfect. I appreciate that. Yeah, you are very well, here, awesome. let me give you the $75 awesome. first. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, no problem at uh, all. And, oh my God, what happened to spring? Well, it's right around the corner for real this time, right? Okay, so this is the box. It's filled with everything. All right, and if you come across anything else, let me know. I'll drive right back out here. I sure will. Thank I you sure so will. much. You are so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, real quick before we go back to the house, I just want to take a look and see what we got. Zelda, Zelda, Paper Mario, another Zelda, we got the N64 with an expansion pack, four controllers, Let's see what the games are here, Zelda, Mario Kart, GoldenEye, WCW, Zelda, Quest, Mischief Makers. I'll go through this stuff more thoroughly back at the house, but definitely looks really good. Just got back to the house. I'm gonna start going through this box, laying everything out, price charting it, and I'll show you guys what I got. All right, big box full of goodies. First things first, we're gonna go for the systems. We got an N64, the power cable. Ooh, and an expansion pack, let's go. On the GameCube systems over here. lot of marker on it that should clean up nice any bonus discs nothing all right we've got paper mario black label this is really nice because i actually have the player's choice copy and i wanted to upgrade to a black label for a while so i'll definitely be keeping this and selling the player's choice this one's complete as well very nice so we got Zelda, Four Swords, feeling a little light. Yeah, no manual. Naruto, Clash of the Ninja, also no manual. Zelda Collector's Edition, not for resale. Ooh, this one does have the manual. Very nice. That's a double for me. This one. What? No manual, but there's two Wind Waker discs. Let's go. What a bonus disc. Nice. Very, very nice. That's like an extra 50 or 60 bucks. Definitely happy with that. Here we got one, two, three, four controllers. That one's got a loose stick. That one's got a really loose stick. This one's got a really loose stick. And this one's also got a really loose stick. So all of them got loose sticks. This is an Invader Zim DVD set. All right, set that off to the side here. Now the good stuff, the 64 stuff. What do we got? We've got Mario Kart 64. Got Goldeneye, classic, can't go wrong with Goldeneye. 
Then we've got, ooh, Majora's Mask holographic label. Let's go. I know that one's pretty expensive. All of these are doubles for me too. Ocarina of Time, classic, probably one of my favorite Zelda games. Uh, Wind Waker is definitely my number one favorite though. Mischief Makers, a little bit of damage on the label up top there. Never actually played this game, but I do already own it. Quest 64, never played that one either, but I already own that one as well. We got a Rumble Pack. And WCW versus NWO. Not bad, not bad. We've also got some various cables in here. Ooh, Game Boy Advanced adapters for GameCube. Looks like there's one, two, three of them. Very nice, very nice. What is... Oh, it's the back of a dock for a Switch. It's kind of strange. I wonder if they've got a Switch laying around. I should message her again. And here we've got a regular jumper pack. This is nice because I actually buy these and hold on to them because I sell the expansion pack separate. So it's nice that they actually still had that. I'll definitely be hanging on to that. We got some video cables, the GameCube power cable, and just a bunch of paper, and the PC Assassin's Creed. I doubt that's worth anything. So I just finished price charting most of this stuff. Um, I didn't add these adapters into price charting just because I was too lazy to look them up and I couldn't figure out the proper name for them. And I also didn't put any of this stuff in because yeah, pretty self-explanatory. But everything else comes to a grand total of 897.07. Some of the best stuff here being, of course, all the Zeldas. The Paper Mario is worth 112. Um, Majora's Mask is worth 60 and yeah we got the Zeldas up here those are worth quite a bit so the Zelda right here actually had two discs in there and for all of the games that were missing manuals I just put them in as loose just because yeah I didn't want to put them in as complete in box and raise the price too much but pretty happy with this pickup Paper Mario Black Label is definitely going right in the collection. I've been meaning to upgrade my Yellow Label for a while, so pretty stoked to find this one. We also got the GameCube console. Uh, no controller with it, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure I got one laying around somewhere. Uh, lots of writing on it. Gonna have to clean this thing up and test it tomorrow. Some solid N64 titles. Got Majora's Mask. Big crack in the cartridge, I just noticed. Oh, that's pretty unfortunate. Should still get at least, I don't know, 40 to 50 bucks for it. Got a Rumble Pack, Ocarina of Time, Quest 64, GoldenEye, Mario Kart 64, all the staples. Four controllers, all of them have loose sticks, unfortunately. That's the first thing I always check these for. And we got the 64 console expansion pack. I know those are worth about 50 to 60 bucks, so I'm definitely happy with that. I paid $75 for all of this stuff. Um, price charting total comes to just under 900. After fees and ship, I should be able to turn at least a 500 to 600 dollar profit. So I'm definitely happy with that. I'm also happy that most of this stuff is doubles for me, so I don't need to keep any of it for the collection. So I just finished putting everything away and I found two extra discs in the Invader Zim. And as I was looking at this more thoroughly, I kind of didn't really realize how cool this is. I did a quick eBay check and this is going for about 35 to 40 bucks, which uh, really surprised me. But yeah, super sweet. All of them are in there, they're in good shape. It's the uh, Complete Invasion. Pretty happy I get to add that Invader Zim to the collection. I'm probably going to pop that in and watch it tonight, to be honest. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And on to the next.